Hello, I'm Jody Wolf. You're watching Exposed June 1, 2016 at 3.06 a.m. in Birmingham. Topic, Feel Good Church. Let me tell you how I got there. First, I turn on my Yahoo News or my Safari, my news pop up, so I'm going through it. But I'm going to two places. I want to go straight to. One is about the silverback. And you all have heard about that today um, by now. I agree that they had to put it down simply because he could have easily torn that child in half and not meaning to. When you take a baby ape of just months old, they can be drug around and they held onto their hand only. Throw them on their back and say, hold on for dear life, little boy, because we're going for a ride. Well, a, a baby, our children can't take that. And the silverback could have hurt him and to have shot something to knock him out. Just for a minute, that ping, that sharp plane, just for a minute, could have caused that silverback to rip that child in pieces. So I agree with what they had to do. Sadly, but I agree with it. Move on. So I'm scanning through myself, and I see 400 church members, goers, elders, and leaders are going to be let off or lose their jobs. So I said, wow, I got to read this. So, but I went on to my second one that I wanted to see, and I stayed there a long time. I and mean, when I got out of it, then I go to my usual daily bread, which is prophecy, update, and then Skywatch TV, then prophecy in the news, and then prophecy watchers or watchers TV, which is L.A. Marzulli. He's the Nephilim man. He keeps you up to date on all of this. And so does Tom Horn and Gary Stearman. They're all prophecy. And they're all getting into the stuff that scares us. They've been in it for a number of years, but we need to listen because it's the truth. All of it. But let me tell you, when I found out that Gary Stearman said, well, we'll no longer be on the church channel. They're taking us off. I said, well, wait a minute. So I had to listen. They're taking them off because they were bought out by Hillsong Channel, Church Channel, and they're going to drop most prophecy network channels, which includes Prophecy Watchers, Skywatch TV, Watchers TV, maybe Perry Stone, John Hagee, Jack Van Impey, Hal Lindsey, and others. These are people that preach today what's happening. They have altar calls. They're there. They're telling us the truth and to get right. You know, if there's three things that you never want to forget is one is John 3, 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. And whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Number two, Genesis 12, 3. Genesis 12, 3. Stand by God's people. If you do that, he'll stand by you in your time. And then continue to pray 2 Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14. If my people come to my face, come to my name, and drop their wicked ways, I'm not reading it. But I'll hear from heaven, and I'll heal their land. I've been on that prayer five years and five months, almost five years and six months. In fact, five years, six months right now. And um, that's for a new leader. Back then, we thought it would have been someone else. Today, I think it's going to be Donald Trump. I still believe it. But I went back. I tried to find the 400 members. Where's, what's this deal about? And uh, so I typed in when I saw that Hillsong was dropping these. It hit me. I know why they're dropping them, because they're not all a bunch of Joel Osteen's. They're not feel-good preachers. So I looked up feel-good preachers. And boy, what I found 
opened my eyes really wide. And, uh, and am I going to tell you about that? Why you think I'll leave it out? Feelgoodchurch.org. Most people, most folks in America belong to the Feel Good Church. They may believe that they are Methodist, Baptist, Presbyterian, or anything else, but in fact, far too many churches of all denominations are feel-good churches. So why are, or what are some of the characteristics of a feel-good church? Pay attention, please. Number one, the preacher never rebukes his member for the errant ways, for rebuking would certainly result in a smaller love offering. Number two, the preacher makes those who give the most feel really good about their generosity, regardless of whether the money was gained through ethical means or not. Number three, the preacher leads his followers to believe that they are saved, no matter how many evil deeds they commit, as long as they're active tithers. Just told you about John 3.16. That is the only way, no other. Number four, feel good churches. Separate the hour of prayer on Sunday from the business week. Ethics can go by the wayside. Number five, the preacher rarely preaches on controversial subjects that would make his members uncomfortable. Number six, and the last, feel good churches lead people to believe that Jesus will come and pluck them up to heaven when the earth is unfit for human life, therefore making concern for God's creation unimportant. Stewardship at feel good churches is making sure there is plenty of money in the parking lot and air conditioning funds. Guys, please think about that. And here's another. The universal ethnicity in church is not a feel-good church. Let's see what it says. Our members confront the difficulties, difficult choices, rather, which we must make in all our lives, which will make God's creation which is our habitat, a better place for all of God's children. Then, when ethnicians make God happy, it makes them happy and joyful. Then they can honestly feel good about themselves and about their good works in God's name. They just said it. Their works, their works. Up here, the preacher makes you feel good and your tithe is your works. Forget the sin, forget the altar call. As long as you tithe, you're saved. People, <laughs> please don't believe it for a minute. Again, Genesis 12, 3, stand by God's chosen people, the Jews, and he'll stand by you. John 3, 16, Jesus died for our sins and Jesus is the only way to heaven. There's no other, period. There's no other. Then you have Chronicles, Second Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14. If my people turn from their wicked ways, you're going to say, then I'll hear their prayers and I'll heal their land. And God is bringing America back to its former glory. I believe that in all my heart because if Donald Trump is elected, there will be a change in the Supreme Court house. Then there will be members in there that are working for the people, not against the people, who adhere to and uphold the current Constitution 
and not change it to fit what Obama or Clinton wants it changed to, or anyone else as far as that concerned. The Constitution was written to protect us, the American people, citizens, 100%. We've got to stay on that line or we have failed. And we have this one time, next time, to get it right. There's no more chances. There's no more after that. Because this country won't stand another minute beyond another Obama. It cannot. So I just tell you, let me go back to the 400. I also saw, after going back and researching somewhat, well, all of it, that came, the old news about Ashley Madison came out again, and they're talking about 400 preachers, pastors, church leaders being dismissed, and then they're talking about three of the Supreme Court members may be on that list, and then they talk about some of the senators and congressmen that may be on that list. And the list is long, including the church pastors. But they printed this today, put it in today's news. This came out August 2015. So I put weight on that about as much as a fly poop or my soup. I ignore it. Just remember John 3, 16, and you got your priorities straight, and it's safe for you to die. Jody Wolf Exposed.